ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing good today. So today is 2 2 2 2022, okay? It's a lot of dang on twos. Um, a lot of things are supposed to take place. We all know about numbers and numerology, and you know, the two has a very significant meaning. And the number two symbolizes duality, you know, male, female, yes, no, alive, dead, left, right, yin and yang. Does it it also symbolizes a union of two people and two ideas? So there's a lot of significance with today's date. And we've been talking about this on the discord literally all month. And so one of the big things that astrologers are saying is that in the United States, we're going to experience our first Pluto return, meaning that this is the first time that planet Pluto, which is associated with transformation and power will come back into the position. And it was when the declaration of independence was signed and ratified on July 4th, 1976. Um, it's also saying that there's going to be a lot of radical, power shifts, political changes. We know there's a lot of stuff going on right now with Russia. Even Cardi B was talking about this and kudos to her for just, you know, I, I just, I told her I want her to be more comfortable speaking on other things and, and talking about stuff outside the box because the girl really researches. She really listens and she really has deep conversations, you know, outside of just WAP and music. So I love the fact that today she was trending for her thoughts on NATO and Russia. Really me. I actually want to say a lot of things, but I'm just going to mind my business because sometimes I feel like I have such a big platform that. If I say the, if I don't say the right things, I might get killed. But I'm really not on NATO side. I'm really not in Russian side. I'm actually in the citizen side because at the end of the day, the world is having a crisis right now. There's inflation not only in America but everywhere in the world. It's really hard to get um, the economy back up. There is so much shipments and embarkments backed up. China's not really messing with us. So a lot of things are behind. A lot of goods are behind. And this shit just made it way more complicated. So I'm just really annoyed by this. And I really wish that all world leaders right now just really come with a logical conclusion. But whatever. And um, I just want her to do more conversations like that. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's going on right now politically in this world globally. Matter of fact, we're, we're having a blizzard right now in Minnesota. Um, the snow is just coming down and my snowblower is at the shop, but honey, that's a whole nother podcast. Hopefully they'll be done by two o'clock. So, you know, I, I won't be stuck in the house, but, um, the main thing for hip hop, for music fans that's significant to this day was Kanye West dropping Donda 2. I feel like I've been on a Kanye West marathon. You know what I mean? Between the Kimye video that y'all loved, and I'm going to do more of that, and the video with him and Corey Gamble, I appreciate just all the positive feedback, and I'm just trying to get back into the swing of everything. Now that I'm healing from surgery and feeling, I'm not 100%, but I'm definitely feeling a lot better. So once again, thank you guys for the well wishes and prayers. Um, but yeah, Kanye's album was supposed to drop at midnight on the stem player. And so, you know, I went on Twitter about 12, 1230 and I wasn't seeing people saying that they were listening to Donda 2. I saw a lot of people were pissed off. So at that point, I took my black ass to bed. I said, okay, I'm going to just go mind my black ass business and go to sleep. So I slept. And then I woke up this morning. I said, well, let me creep around these internet streets and see if I can, you know, find a, you know, a, a, I don't know, an extra version floating around the internet of Donda 2. You know, has anybody heard it yet? And no, <laughs> there's none. Um, right now, Kanye West is in Miami. He's preparing for the Donda 2 show that he's going to be performing at later on this evening. So he's down there right now. But people on social media are really, really pissed. So let me go ahead and kind of rewind everything back for the folks who don't even understand what's going on now. So for y'all who don't know, back on February 18th, 
Kanye took to Instagram and he basically made this announcement. So this is what Ye wrote on Instagram. He says, Donda 2 will only be available on my own platform, the STEM player, not on Apple, Amazon, Spotify, or YouTube. Then he goes on to say, today's artists get just 12% of the money the industry makes. It's time to free music from its oppressive system. It's time to take control and build our own. And when he said that, that caused a lot of ruckus behind the scenes, honey. Because y'all not got access to certain things behind the scenes, bitch. A lot of folks was in their feelings, honey. Apple's mad. Spotify definitely feels a way. Um, YouTube, uh, Susan Wojcicki, she feels a way. So a lot of these people are definitely mad that Kanye's putting it out there. And for so long, artists have been saying these streaming companies are now the new record executives. You know, before artists got fucked over, you know, excuse my French, by the by these big record labels who would put money into them and then give them so little in return. I mean, we can all go back to the 90s, honey. Lou Pearlman, he was like the king of that. He did that to Backstreet Boys and Sync and so many other people. These kids were literally working slaves. You know, their first check was ten thousand dollars. And this man walked away with hundreds of millions of dollars based off of those boy groups. Year, the money started rolling in for Perlman, but for the bands, something didn't add up. I was in the biggest band in the world and selling millions of records and someone's making millions and millions, but I can't even afford my apartment in Orlando. I couldn't even get a car. Backstreet's out there bringing in millions and millions of dollars and then they find out that Lou has taken 10 million for himself and left 300000 for them to split amongst themselves, they said they began to feel like indentured servants. So now we move fast forward into modern times, into modern technology, and we have the streaming platforms. And the streaming platforms make way more money than a lot of the artists. And now if you're a big artist like a Drake and you know you're going to sell then yeah, it's okay if you're only getting 12% because you're getting so much money. But if you're more of an indie artist or you're not really known or you're not really popular, you're not making any money off these streaming services. You're going to be forced to do concerts and tours. You know what I'm saying? So I was proud of him when he said this um, because I think it should be more fair. I think if I'm the one picking the producers, paying the producers, you know, writing the music. It just, it takes a lot to make music, y'all. <laughs> it takes a lot. You know, I hang out in studios every now and then. It's a lot of work, you know, it's a lot of people involved. And so for people who are not even, you know, who have nothing to do with the music itself from the production to the beat making, to the chorus, to the, you know, lyrics, for them to get the bulk of the share just because they own a platform is kind of unfair, you know what I'm saying, if you really look at the grand scheme of things. Now, what a lot of people don't understand, and I had to get this tea from the biggest Kanye West fan in my house, which is my oldest son, when I tell you he's like one of the biggest Kanye West fan. Kanye, if you see this video, child, send him a stem player. But anyways, so me and him were having a conversation. He's such a big fan, y'all. He got the damn twisted dark fantasy tattooed on him, on his skin. That's how much of a Kanye fan he is. He's had it for a while, but I just didn't put two and two together. I'm a mom. I got 50 million things going on, child. But anyway, so me and the big Kanye West fan, we were here talking in my office. And so I said, well, what's up? I need to know the tea because I'm confused. Some people are saying that they're listening to Donda 2 on the, stream, on the stem player. Other people are saying that it's not there. What's the tea, son? What is the tea? Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> So he said, no, he said, what it is, is that Kanye West did not drop it. People who are claiming that they're listening to it, they're listening to the first Donda. He also said that this is Kanye's own tech brand. So the stem player, which a lot of people hadn't really heard of, if you're not a big Kanye fan or you don't know the ends, but all the you know fans know this. So this is what my son broke down to me. Basically, Kanye has a tech company, which I didn't even know about, but it's called GZ Tech. So he collaborated with the company called Cano Computing and they created a stem player. The stem player first came out in August, so it didn't come out on the 18th. It's been out since August. And so a lot of the Kanye fans already had one. My son was going to buy one anyways, but he just didn't get around to it because I feel he has way more important things to spend $200 on, but that's just me being a mom. So he said he didn't end up getting one, but he is going to get one. But basically Yeezy Tech and Kano came up with this stem player and on it, you get the Donda album and then you can also download albums from other artists, you know, 
everybody from Wiz Khalifa to Ariana Grande, whoever. And the cool thing is you can like slow it down, speed up the music. You can do all types of little fun things. It's basically the modern version of an iPod. And so I think he really tapped into a good market because it brings this generation of college students back to nostalgia. You know, like I remember buying my son an iPod when he was like in junior high or elementary school or something, you know, so it brings back that nostalgia factor. Plus, Kanye gets a bulk of the money as opposed to these streaming services. So if you guys do not know, Kanye West came out yesterday and he said that he's already made $2.2 million in one day's revenue off of his STEM player. So while everybody was talking like nobody's about to pay for that, who's going to pay $200 for an album? Child, them hardcore Kanye fans did. And he made $2.2 million. And I'm not mad at that. So many times when we see black folks thinking outside the box, we get mad at the money that they made. Like, oh, that's not right. He's being greedy. He made $2.2 million. No one ever cries when white people like Steve Jobs and Apple do the same damn thing. No one cried and said, well, that's not fair. Well, you know, we're struggling out here, and you want us to pay $200 for an iPod for our kids? No, people stood in line and bought them. So I'm not bad at this black man making $2.2 million off of his own, you know, what I'm saying device off of something that he created. And I think a lot of artists are going to go this way. I think Kanye is setting a precedence because if 11,000 people ran to go buy this STEM player and it got him $2.2 million in one day, trust me, other celebrities are looking at this and trust me. The streaming services are looking at this and I hope nothing befalls Jay because you know, they, they get very funny when you playing with their money. But um, the streaming services are definitely watching this because if this ends up being the route for especially these big celebrities to go to get their music to their fans, then we don't need to go on Apple and Spotify and Google and YouTube. We can just have our stem player to get our music and the money's going straight to our favorite artists, which I think this would be really dope for independent artists or artists you know what i'm saying who don't have such a big fan base but they can get the bulk percentage of the money so it's going to be very interesting to see you know where this goes but you know he has to drop the music you know all praises aside while i love his genius and his you know intuitiveness we need the music, yay. We need Donda too. The one downstairs is like walking back and forth. Like, when is it going to drop? <laughs> you know, so we understand that you're going to put on a show in Miami, but the people who paid for this device, they need the music that you promised that you were going to drop today. What I'm thinking right now, it's 12, 13 p.m. Central Standard Time. Maybe he's planning on dropping it at 2.22 in the afternoon which would be about two hours from now. So maybe you Yeezy fans, just give him another two hours. Maybe he's trying to, you know, make everything in sync because right now these numbers really matter. Two hours later. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the future. So I'm back. I had to run and go get my snowblower before we got trapped in this house. Um, so I'm back editing my video, and it is 3.05 p.m., okay? And I asked my son as soon as I got in, did Kanye drop down to two yet? And he was like, no, it's still not here. So, so much for my theory on maybe him dropping it at 2.22 p.m. Because it's 3.05 and it's still not here. So, I don't think he's going to drop it today. Maybe he'll drop it next week. Maybe he'll drop it two months from now. Who knows knowing Kanye at this point. But we'll have to wait and see. So, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Did you get a STEM player? Are you going to get one? Are you excited for Donda 2 to come out? Um, and then also, how do you feel about the fact that he promised it'd be dropping at midnight and it's still not here in Kanye fashion? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Once again, thank you guys so much for your support. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because they love to unsubscribe people from my channel, honey. And also make sure you guys share the video, like the video, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.